All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're gonna be looking at some things that will actually improve your maps and maybe some uh, objects that you didn't even realize were added into season five or that you can even use in a certain way. Uh, so the very first thing we're gonna be looking at is as Wilco's prefab called Murky Algae Water. Now pretty much he used a terrain piece and set the collision off of that terrain piece and put that um, you know right underneath the you know the water level and what that does is make it look like there's some algae and stuff on the water if you notice right here like you going in and see really that's not algae that's actually a terrain piece but the terrain is uh, collision is turned off so whenever you ride in it's just like going in the water and you're actually driving through the terrain piece right now. It's directly underneath the water. So it's a pretty cool little feature uh, that he thought of as something that with that new uh, terrain piece, I mean with the new collision ability. So this is definitely really cool. And I highly suggest if you want uh, to be able to create something like this, you can download his. Uh, if you want to, I will leave a link to his prefab in the description down below, or you could just go ahead and make your own. It's a very simple thing to be able to make your own. Uh, let's go ahead and hop over here and take a look at it. I spawned it way out here onto the other side. Uh, if you notice, there's a reflection volume you know, over it naturally because you want the water to be reflective. And you have a water plane right here just on top and right below the water plane. You will see right here is a no collision uh, terrain flat just directly below it this is what it is right here just a no collision terrain flat now he went in and of course changed all the settings uh, the you know of the terrain piece uh, but that's what he did it's very easy very simple and then he just put a white block underneath and that's actually the block that you're driving on now of course you can have your normal terrain that you have on your map underneath there the white block is just there just to show okay you need to have something physical um underneath uh your you know your um like that your vehicle will be driving on or that your player will be walking on so that's of course something to remember now, as you know, we look at this right here, it looks fantastic. I really love everything about it. It's awesome because you can also use this in other things. You can also just not necessarily do algae. You can change the color of everything and make something else that's a little bit, you know, more unique, uh, you know, rather than just algae uh, if you want to, if you want to do something else. But you can uh, always sit there and do that. And it is great. I, I love the fact that they have... Uh, the new the new no collision option uh, because it really does make things uh, you know a lot better for something like this or just some other ideas that other people have now the other thing I want to point out that uh, a lot of people may not know is actually the terrain pieces that you see around me in my little test map right here take it easy warthog take it easy uh, this little test map right here that I built all this is using one Piece besides just these uh, terrain pieces right here that just kind of fills in to make the grass but all this up here is a rock there's a certain rock there was a glitched rock in back in season five I mean uh, season four where you basically it's one of the miscellaneous rocks and you let's go ahead and just how about we go ahead and spawn that one in so you can see it now the rocks now originally the eroded terrain E was glitched to where if you lower it down near the terrain, it would actually inherit uh, the terrain stuff underneath it if you lower it real low. And the great thing is that was brought up, actually that was brought up by Aswilko as well, that that glitch was there. But everyone was saying, no, please make this a feature because it is a great idea for certain things. So now 343 has made eroded terrain ETI. So they made that glitch into a feature and now whenever you flip it over, if you notice, it inherits the terrain underneath. So, of course, you know, I built all this type of stuff, so it's not inheriting this. Uh, but it's inheriting all this terrain on the Institute canvas here. Uh, let's go ahead and scale it up. And look at that. Like, that is incredible. So now you can actually have grass and stuff like that 
covering the tops of rocks. Uh, and this works with any canvas. So if you're on the new permafrost canvas, uh, if you want some snow over your rocks, that's what I actually did for my racetrack that I'm racing. A lot of people were asking, what rocks did I use to have that snow effect on top? I use this. All I used was the Eroded Terrain ETI, and that is in the biomes and then the rocks miscellaneous right here. And there we go. We have it. So now you can go ahead and have uh, you know, nice little effects on the tops of your rocks uh, if you wanted to. So you could see all these, like see how it has grass up on top of there and right here. It just looks really nice, it especially looks really nice with the snow, um, being able to have that because, you know, snow has a little bit of layer on rocks and stuff like that. Now, if we can only get the rest of them, like, you know, <laughs> I would love eroded terrain column B and column A and you know, all this different stuff right here to have TI versions, that would be fantastic. Or even just like all of our normal rocks to have, could you imagine like this rock having a TI version? And then this rock having a TI version, that would be incredible to be able to have TI versions of all these rocks. Uh, so that way it can inherit, you know, some of the terrain uh, stuff. And so it would just look really, really good if, you know, we are capable of doing that. Now, the next thing that I do want to show everyone that a lot of people may not realize that you can do is create your own custom trees. Uh, now, right here, uh, you know, this looks like a nice little tree trunk, but really, this is actually a, oh, oh don't want to grab uh, the terrain piece over there. If you notice, this is actually just some bushes, and right here is a burned small tree. So that is something to also remember. Now there's a couple uh, different variations of the burned small tree. Uh, so you can go over here and go into the trees uh, right down here. And there you go. You get tree, uh, burned small tree A, burned small tree B and C and D. And so all of these provide, and you can scale them up a little bit, uh, and they provide great tree trunks. Uh, for some trees, you know, so if you want to be able to, you know, uh, have like your own custom tree with some bushes, uh, there you go. You can go ahead and have that now. Like, you know, like you can have a custom tree here uh, and you can get other bushes and make it a look a whole lot better. I personally was just trying to get as little amount of objects as possible to kind of cover this around here. Uh, so this is a three object tree right here. And originally we had to use like roots and everything to try to make a tree trunk uh, and make it look really good, like more like a normal tree trunk, uh, like with this, with the branching pieces coming off. But now you can go ahead and use these burnt small trees as an actual tree trunk here and creating something. And now we have these burnt uh, pine bush uh, here. So you, whenever you do spawn in, you know, you can have some reddish orange looking tree leaves. And of course you can make this, you know, you can shrink some of these and, you know, uh, and scale them up and scale them down and make it look a whole lot better tree. But I, again, I was trying to use as little possible because the only way currently right now to get colorful, uh, you know, leaves on something is to put lights. And that's very resource intensive, especially if you have a big forest. So this right here is just like three objects. There's one in the front, one in the back, and one tree trunk right here. And there we go. We got a somewhat of a reddish orange type of tree here. So you can have some nice fall looking trees. Now you can of course do this with some other blocks as well. Um, I mean with some other, uh, you know, pieces as well, but I've just wanted to show off and just say, hey, that's something to think about, uh, especially now that you can use these awesome burnt small trees as the trunks. Uh, so that's something to remember. If you notice, I, I just came over here and just grouped and I just pretty much duplicated and spawned a bunch of them down uh, just to kind of show, hey, you know, like there's a little quick forest right there uh, with each one just having three pieces. It doesn't use very, you know, very many objects. Uh, and so it's real nice to be able to have like these uh, trunks here now uh, that will work for that type of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much just what I wanted to show off. Just something fairly quick and just to show off. Yeah, we got these awesome new rocks, this TI rock here that actually, you know, will, you know, inherit uh, the, you know, terrain that's underneath on the canvas. Uh, so you can have this real nice effect of having like some green up on top of rocks and everything like that. And it looks really nice. And Aaron's 
um, you know, as well goes his uh, his little murky algae water uh, prefab. It's fantastic, and I cannot wait to see what people do with this because it's such a great idea to have a no collision and put a terrain piece under that to kind of form the, the algae looking stuff there. Uh, but it, since you have no collision, so you could drive through it like what you know you would normally do with a vehicle driving into water, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, if any of y'all do, whoa, calm down there, Warthog. If any of y'all do come out with some pretty, you know, interesting and cool stuff like this uh, algae water here, uh, just feel free to just, you know, uh, send me a message over on Twitter or something. And, you know, you can like have a picture or you give a link to your prefab or something like that. And if I really like it, I would happily make a video over it, showing it off to, to the community. So that way the community has more and more stuff to be able to build and create with. And that's what this is all about. This is all about just sharing everything that people have learned so people can create better and better maps for everyone. Uh, so again, thank you all everyone for coming out and watching. If you do want to see more videos like this, be sure to give a like and leave a comment down below on what you could possibly make with this type of stuff that right here that I showed y'all today. I will ha be having more AI tutorials coming out this week. Uh, so expect that and of course more custom maps as well. Uh, thank you everyone for coming out. I appreciate it and remember, Forge a new halo.